Hi everyone, first I'd like to thank you so much for your well wishes during my 50th birthday. I was very touched and overwhelmed by the tremendous amount of love and support uh, from your messages and your postings. So as I read all that, it really inspired me to create a slightly different video this time, not on investing or trading, but I thought I'd create a video to share about the lessons I've learned through the last 50 years of my life. The lessons I've learned that have helped me to achieve the success that I wanted in the different areas of my life and allowed me to live a life of fulfillment. So the first lesson that I learned at a very early age is that if you want to achieve success, you have to define success. I mean, think about it. Most people, if you ask them what you want in life, they say, I want to be successful. But if you ask them what is success, they stare at you like, I don't know. <laughs> so think about it. If you don't know what success is, how can you go for it? And if you don't know what success is, how would you know if you got it? And the important thing is that the way you define success will determine whether you feel that you've achieved success and it will affect how you feel every single day of your life. For example, if you ask people, you know, what, what is success to you? You get very different answers and there's no right or wrong. Like some people would say, or oh, success is when I, you know, hit $5 million. Some people say success is when I have no more problems in life. Uh, su some people say success is when everyone loves me or success is when I'm able to you know, change the world. But I think most people, if you ask them what is the definition of success, they'll tell you that, well, I think success is uh, achieving my goals in life. And again, different people would have different goals. Some people may say, my goal is to become the CEO of a multinational company. My goal is to make a million dollars a year. My goal is to uh, list my company on the stock exchange. My goal is to be able to uh, feed a million children, whatever it may be. Now, the problem with defining success as achieving a goal or achieving goals is that you can't achieve a goal overnight. It takes years and years and years to achieve the goal. And if you think about it, along that journey, as you are moving towards that goal, you don't feel successful because you only feel successful when you get there, which could be decades later. And most people, when they get there, they feel successful, they feel great for just a while, and then they don't feel successful anymore, and they set another goal and go for that goal. And again, that may take many more years, and along that journey, they don't feel good about themselves until they get there, and again, it doesn't last. So many people, they say to me, Adam, even though I achieve what I want in life, I felt that that feeling of success doesn't last. So the problem with defining success as only achieving your goal or goals is that 99% of the time, you will not feel successful. You will feel like crap because you're not there yet. You're not there yet. You're not there yet. And even if you get there, which is like 1% of that entire process or less than 1%, yeah, you may feel successful, but it doesn't last. So you live your life most of the time not feeling like a success in life. So early on in my life, I realized that in order to feel good about myself every day, to bring out the best in myself, I decided to define success as not being a destination. It's not that when I achieve this goal, then I'm successful, no. But to me, success is a journey. And success is a process of continually moving towards my goals every single day. In other words, as long as I move towards my goal, that's success. I don't have to get there, I just have to move towards it. Yeah, sounds crazy, but it worked for me. It may work for you. So for example, one of the goals that I had was to be able to build a multi-million dollar investment portfolio, was to become a successful investor to be able to beat the market consistently. So every night before I slept, I asked myself this question, today, did I become a better investor? Did I manage my investments by following my investment plan? Did I read a new book? Did I watch a new video that enhanced my skills as an investor? Did I learn something new today? And if I did, then that day was a successful day. Another one of my goals has always been to be a great father, a great husband, a great friend to people. So every day before I slept, I asked myself today, was I a great friend? Was I a great husband? Did I go out of my way to tell my loved ones that I love them? Did I go off my way to do something that touched them, to inspire them, to make them laugh? And if I did, then that day was a success. And same thing for you. If one of your goals is to be fit, to be healthy, uh, to have a certain ideal weight, for example, you don't have to get that weight to feel successful as long as you're moving towards that. So 
again, ask yourself this question. Today, did you move closer to that goal? Today, did you do those push-ups? Did you go for that run? Did you avoid those foods that you said you're going to avoid? Because if you did, then that's a successful day to you. Now, so what's powerful about defining success this way? So when you define success this way, you find that success is a day-to-day -day thing. As long as, you, as long as you move closer to your goals, you, f you allow yourself to feel success. Now, see, I believe that success breeds success. So when you feel that you are successful, when you feel good about yourself, you tend to do your best. You tend to want to take massive action. You want to do more of it. Think about it. If you feel successful at investing, you want to invest more. If you feel successful at tennis, you want to play more tennis. If you feel like you're crap at something, if you feel that you're not successful yet, it's so far away, that, that goal is so overwhelming, you don't feel like doing it. So the whole point is to set yourself up to feel successful on a daily basis in a way that drives you to take action. As long as every day you're taking action, you're moving forward, reward yourself, allow yourself to feel successful. And that's one of the first most powerful lessons that really helped me in my life. And then the next question would be, okay, so if you want to continually be successful to move towards your goals and to eventually achieve your goals and, and more goals, then is there a formula for success? And I believe that, yes, there is, because success leaves clues. If you observe the most successful people in the world who have made an impact, not just on their own lives, the people around them or the world, you find that they all follow a certain formula. And it's a formula that I first learned from Tony Robbins over 25 years ago. And it's something called the ultimate success formula. Yeah, sounds corny, but it really works. And it is by following this formula, this ultimate success formula that really allowed me to achieve a lot of crazy goals I set for myself. Not just my financial goals, but goals in my career, in my businesses, in my relationships, and every area of my life. And if it's something that you want me to maybe share more about in another video, do let me know in the comment section below. And besides my usual investing and trading videos, which I love to share, you know, I'll do more of this if it's something that you think uh, would benefit you as a person. So let me know in the comment section below. So in the meantime, uh, live your life to the fullest. And of course, as always, may the markets be with you.